This sponsored hosting or tutorial is part one of five parts. We're going to go through pretty much everything to do in your hosting or account. In this video, we're going to create a hosting or account using a giant coupon code that I've negotiated for you guys. It's up to 91% off, I believe, from regular prices on Hostinger. So it's a super deal. And after we've created our hosting or account, we're going to claim our free domain and install WordPress and configure the hosting. And in next videos, we're going to build a site in there and go through all the different features in Hostinger in subsequent videos after that. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. So in video one of this five part video series, it's only right that I show you how to get Hostinger on the cheap. Right now, there's a Black Friday sale. It's not going to be around forever though. But once it's over, there's also WP Learning Lab coupon that will get you 90% off any annual plan. Today is November the 13th and Black Friday, I think is the 24th or 26th. So there's still a bunch of time left before the Black Friday deal expires. So when you do come to the Hostinger website, Click on go for it, it'll take you down here. Review all the material, compare it to other hosting plans. You'll find that hosting or hosting is a really, really good deal for everything that you get. If you compare it to say SiteGround, for example. SiteGround is great hosting, but it's also much more expensive than Hostinger. And here's a prime example. For the single website hosting plan on Hostinger, it is $1.39 a month when it's on sale. When it's on sale at SiteGround, it's $3.99. When it's not on sale at Hostinger, when you renew, that's when you get the renewal price, which is $2.99 a month. At SiteGround, it's $15 a month. So it's way cheaper. You also get three times the storage space. The same approximate number of monthly visitors. You get a free SSL, just like everywhere else. Probably a Let's Encrypt SSL. Yeah, Let's Encrypt. You don't get the free domain or the free ads credit. That's fine. 100 gigabytes of bandwidth, managed WordPress, WordPress acceleration, two databases, I guess one would be for a staging site. If you have one website, you have the, the production site and the staging site, so you get two databases for that. Although when you use plugins like WP Vivid, you can do both of those just in one database. And then when you get up to the higher plans, the differences get even greater. For example, here are the business shared hosting, 100 websites. On SiteGround's unlimited for their biggest plan. 200 gigabytes of storage, SiteGround 40. Approximately one... 100,000 monthly visits, that's not very many. SiteGround's 400 for that level. And you get free email, free SSL, free domain, Google Ads credit, probably 150, doesn't say. Unlimited bandwidth, managed WordPress, uh, doesn't mention how many databases, unlimited databases right there. Unlimited databases. But 100 websites is more or less unlimited. There aren't very many people that have more than 100 websites. And when it's on sale, this plan is four bucks a month. On sale on SiteGround, it's ten sixty nine a month. When it renews, when it's not on sale, this plan's nine bucks a month on Hostinger, and forty dollars a month on SiteGround. There's even more features. Click on here, see more features roll out. Feel free to come here and check these out and compare it to other hosting. But you'll find Hostinger is great hosting and it's a really good deal. It's very affordable. So once you're ready to check out, click on Go for it like I did already. Select the one you want. Let's choose the biggest plan. I'm going to choose 48 months because that's when you save the most because the you get the regular price when it renews. So it renews at $8.99 a month in 2025 if you choose 48 months. You save 75%. Each plan you'll save, but you'll save less. So pick the one that's right for you. You do have to pay the whole amount at once, so the total will be $191, but then you have 48 months of hosting done. That's four years. That's pretty awesome. You can pay with credit card, PayPal, and what you rarely see, cryptocurrency, CoinGate. You can pay with any anyone they support. It looks like Bitcoin, and I don't even know what they all are. But there's a whole bunch listed right here in these little icons, so I'm sure they support a lot of different cryptocurrencies. And if you're here when it's not the Black Friday sale, even when it is, actually, come down to the coupon, have a coupon code, and paste in WP Learning Lab, all capitals. I haven't tested whether it works on lowercase, but all capitals works. Click on plus and watch this price. The Black Friday sale gets you 191.52 over 48 months. Use this coupon that I negotiated for you guys. It's down to 178. So this coupon is even cheaper than the Black Friday sale. And it applies to every yearly plan. 
maybe every plan, not this one. So it's every yearly plan. You gotta go 12 months, 24 months, 48 months, and you get the savings from that coupon. And when it's not Black Friday, this is still the price you get even when it's not Black Friday. And when it is Black Friday, you actually get it cheaper by using the coupon code. So make sure you apply the coupon code. It's down in the description down below in case throughout this video you forget what it is. WP Learning Lab. Just pop it right in there and get a giant discount. And then you choose how you want to pay. You fill out your info and you're in. And when you're in, this will be your account when you first sign in. Doesn't look like much, but there's a lot of power in here. And throughout this video series, it's five videos, we're going to go through pretty much every aspect of this account, except for the Zara Website Builder. We're going to instead do an Elementor built website in the next video. I'm going to show you how to install WordPress in Hostinger, how to set up your website, how to create one using Elementor. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. We're going to go ahead and claim our free domain right here. Let's click on claim domain and let's enter it. It has to make sure the domain's available. You can't just take anybody else's. We couldn't put google.com in here and claim it for ourselves. So it has to be a domain name that is available. Something like testing new website one two three four chances are that's going to be available click on check availability to see if it is and it is that's fantastic and so we get it for free zero dollars a year but it will renew next year so we get one year for free so technically by saying claim your free domain it kind of implies it's free forever but domains have a yearly cost in this case $13 a year which is pretty comparable to other domain name providers like GoDaddy or Namecheap personally I use Namecheap and if you have a domain somewhere else already you can use it inside of Hostinger as well I'll show you how to do that in just a minute first let's claim this domain so I can show you how this process works let's change our details here let's put in Canada and there's no matching because I can't spell. There we go. You can choose personal or company slash organization. Go to the next step, enter your contact details. Fill this out. Once that's filled out, click on finish registration. And now this fantastic domain name is ours. Your contact information is under review. We'll inform you about your domain registration in a short while. In the meantime, you can start creating a website. Great. Continue. We're on the domains tab now and we have our domain name pending right here. Let's click on this forward arrow. Here it says, finish domain registration, information required. Even though we already entered this information, we to kind of confirm it again. Click on finish registration, and now that domain name is being registered. And I get the same message again from earlier, but the domain name is now pending verification through a verification email that was sent to your email address. So let's see how that looks. Here's the hosting or email. Just click on this link to verify. Verify email. Looking good. Email's been verified. Let's come back over here and refresh. Lots of green check marks. That's what I like to see. And now we have our domain name set up and ready to go. If you have more than one domain name in Hostinger, you'll see it in this drop down right over here. In each domain name, you can look at the overview page, which is this. You can change the DNS, the name servers, right here. Change the contact info on the domain get help. The help is very responsive. They even have live chat. So if you need any help with anything at all, they're experts in Hostinger and experts in a lot of web-based stuff. So just go to the chat and they will help you with whatever you need. There's something else under domains that you need to be aware of. You can also have a domain that's not hosted in Hostinger and use it on a Hostinger-based website, but that is not necessarily transferring a domain. If you transfer a domain, you're actually moving it here. And if you're not experienced with domains, there's a it seems like it's I'm saying the same thing, but I'm actually not. When you add a domain to hosting or using name servers, you're basically just telling internet traffic that the website for this domain is hosted at Hostinger. But if you go through this transfer setup here, you're physically moving the domain name to Hostinger. So if your domain name exists right now in GoDaddy or Namecheap or somewhere else, if we transfer it, it's going to then no longer exist there in GoDaddy, Namecheap, or wherever else. It's now going to exist inside Hostinger. And Hostinger will be the one that you pay every year for your domain name. So keep that in mind. Transferring domains might not be what you want. You can change the name servers of your domains to point to your Hostinger setup. And there's a few more things I want to show you. In the next video, we're going to build out a site on this domain name inside Hostinger using Elementor. But you may have noticed something called Zyro the Zyro Website Builder, hope I pronounced that correctly. 
this is Hostinger's own website builder. If we go to the Zyro website, yours will look something like this. The prices will probably be different. I think this is Canadian because I got the, the slash CA up here. So your prices might be different. But Zyro is a page builder, website builder, just like Elementor. I've never used it before. That's why we're going to use Elementor to build the website in the next video. But Zyro looks pretty solid to me. And it is an additional cost, which you can see outlined right here. Zyro comes free with your hosting or account for the period of time that you registered. So if you bought your hosting account for 48 months, you get Zyro included for 48 months. After the 48 months are over, then you got to pay extra. As you can see, the prices can be quite steep. $19 a month, $39 a month, $35 a month, depending which plan you choose. On sale, they're pretty reasonable. But keep that in mind that this will be an additional cost if you end up going with Zyro and then it expires, as in the term expires where you got it for free, then you have to pay for it. But similarly, you also pay for Elementor every year, but it is cheaper than Zyro. And inside of your hosting or account, you also have various other places you might be interested in, like the billing tab. This is where you have your invoices and you can see what services you have in here. You can change your payment methods as well. So right now we have premium hosting, we have Zyro Unleashed, which I get until this date, which happens to be the day before my hosting expires. Premium support, this can be actively renewed or not. This is the chat down here, the little crown here is premium support. So when you get your new account, you get the premium support, meaning they pull out all the stops to help you get set up because during the setup is really when you need their help. You don't need their help once you know how hosting or works and you can set up your sites yourself. But you need their help in the beginning when you got to find where to get the SSLs, how to pick a domain, how to do the DNS. So premium support is fantastic when you're first starting out. And you can also turn auto renew off, go to renewal settings, turn it off right here, or turn it on. If you want to keep premium support, turn it on. But anything that's renewable, you can turn off the renewal if you want to right in this menu here. There's also help, whether it's solid documentation, email support, priority chat support. There's also a store where you can buy additional services. There are 12 of them. You can read through them. I know you can read, so I'm not going to read them for you, but you can add additional services to your account. They're not required. That's why they're additional, but you can add them in if you want to. And there's also your account information, security, and account sharing. The account sharing allows you to give access to your team. You can even give your team access to only specific things. Once you grant access to someone, down here they'll be listed, and you can choose what they have access to and what they don't, which is pretty sweet. So in the next video, we are going to build a website inside Hostinger on this fantastic domain right here using Elementor. Next up, watch this video right up here. It's part two of this Hostinger series, and down below that is a playlist of all the Hostinger videos. So check out that as well. And in part two, we're going to build a complete website with Elementor on Hostinger, so make sure you don't miss that. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.